welcome to another episode of the Paranormal Travelers. My name is Michael. I'm the lead investigator of the Paranormal Travelers. And we're here in Valvico, Florida with our homeowner here, Joanne, where she's dealing with a lot of poltergeist activity in their home. Joanne, can you please explain to the viewers out there some of the things that's been going on in your home and some of the things that you feel very, very uncomfortable about by being here? Uh, throw, knife's being thrown. And hitting the metal pictures on the wall. Can you explain to the viewers when does that happen? Usually at night, right when you're ready to go to sleep, close your eyes and all of a sudden something hits the wall, something slides across the floor, the dog cage, the metal um, rod was coming out, flying over the top, landed on the floor, scissors thrown across the floor, laundry detergent, out of the cupboard in the laundry room, poured all over the floor, bathroom cabinets open, everything come up open, spilt all over. So this is happening to you almost pretty much every single night that I guess. Yes, like every night. And it's coming to the point where she's legitimately feeling like she's going crazy that she can't get enough sleep in this house. And I think you did say to me that you're losing a lot of sleep over I'm there. having slept. And my next question to you is, what do you, and I, and I ask all of our homeowners this, what do you expect for us to do for you? Get rid of it. You want it gone, right? Yeah, it's, I cannot sleep. Right, and, and you know, that's that's what we're here for. We're here to actually make sure that whatever's going on, if we can clear it and stuff like that. And I did tell you before, you know, it's, it is in stages and everything. So it goes from stage one, stage two, stage three. So, you know, we're going to see what we can capture out on tape tonight. We're going to be here for a lockdown with you. Um, see what we capture and see what we can banish from the property. If it's a quick fix, it'll go automatically like that. If it's not a quick fix and it's something that is poltergeist activity that is causing a lot of mischief, or mischief around the house, then we come back with the ad again that actually helps clear it out, okay? Okay. Um, so please stay with us all night long to check out what we're going to capture on tape. Could we capture something manifesting? Could we capture something floating in air? We physically capture that one bit of proof of paranormal out there where we can actually see something levitating. It all starts now tonight. Your discretion is advised. Case file number 129, Residential Investigation in Valrico, Florida. Night, this is getting old. Go to where you came from. Get out. Get out of my house. Leave. These, these people are going to get you out. It just said you die, but that's okay. You just keep yelling at it. Get out! Go on, get out of my house. You're not welcome here. Leave. Go back to where you came from. Get out! Get out of my house. Leave. We're going to get you out of here and send you out. Get out. Get out of my house. 
Go on, get out. Leave. We want you to out. You do not live here. Get out. If you don't get out, we're going to banish you right now. You don't like that, do you? What is your name? Yeah, what do you want? Are you a coward? Are you scared? Where's all the things you throw? You scared tonight, huh? You could throw them all night long? You can't do nothing tonight? I think it's scared, John. Yes, you are. Yeah, where's the brushes? Where's the remotes? Can't throw them tonight? I Get think out. it's scared. You're scared. Oh, you didn't like that one, did ya? Ooh, that didn't scare us. My house. It's not your house. You're going to be banished here. This is Joanne's house. Yeah, you get out. Get out of my house. Go back to where you came from. Leave. Get out. You're a coward. Get out. Get out of my house. It's my house. You are not welcome here. We're going to banish it, Joanne. B yeah, get rid of it. Get rid of it. We're going to get rid of you. This is not your house. You don't even belong here. Yeah, you didn't like that. That's why you got quiet. Get out. Get out. Leave. Get out of my house. Does your granddaughter want to say anything? Okay. Get out. What was that? Did you guys hear a moan? No. No. Oh, but it's you're getting blurry here. Get out. You're not allowed here. Leave. Get out. Joanne, do you know the Our Father prayer? Yes. Can you say oh, the whole... don't like when I grab the cross. You want to go get it? Yeah. Not your house. <coughs> Keep saying your house. It's not your house. Never will be your house. Get out of my house. In the name of God, get out of my house. This is Joanne's house. You want me to say to our Father? Go ahead. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Join Please. Say it one more time. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Now get out. Leave. You tell him, Joanne. Yeah, you don't like this cross. Get out of here. Get out of my house. You're not welcome here. You don't live here. Leave. Get out. Very good. What is that sound? Something's going off. It did not like... It didn't like how she did the Our Father, so now it's making the equipment go off. You didn't like that, did you? Yeah, you don't like this cross either. Are you done playing around with lights? Now we know you're here. Get out. We know you're here. Joanne, did you see? You got it mad. That's what we want. Get out of here. Go back to where you came from. You're not welcome here. Leave us alone. We want peace. Leave. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. You're okay, Joanne. Oh. You're doing a good job. Get out. You did enough in here. Now it's time for you to leave. Go. Why are you calling my name now? Why are you, what do you want? What do you want? Are you done? You don't like the fact that we're beating you. You don't like it, do you? Now Joanne fans something to beat you with now. Go on, get out of here. Get out of my house. Leave us alone. What do you want over here? What's your name? Get out. Answer, what is your name? What's your name? What's your name? There's a set of knives right there. Why don't you throw it? Yeah, where's the brush? You throw brushes. You throw remote. You throw phones. You get the mess. Get out of here. Leave! Get out of my house. Hey guys, you notice that um, ever since she did the Our Father prayer, it stopped like yelling at her and shit? It stopped what? Yelling at you. Like, as she's holding that cross, it's like the room in here is lifting up and feeling a little bit better than being heavy. It's weird. It doesn't like this cross. I have it all the time. But usually, usually when I'm walking with it, it starts throwing stuff behind me. Right. Get out of here. Rick, the battery percentage in here is two bars. Is that enough? Get out. In the name of Jesus, get out. Yeah.
It said you get out. No, she's not going to get out. My house. You get out. Leave. The living room light in here is getting extremely dark right now. How's that orb activity looking? We're going. It's the as it was, but it, most of the We're going off again. Hear it? Yep. Leave. Get out. Are you? Did you just turn that off? No, my my portal box and everything just shut off. Did it run your phone dead? My phone is still on. It literally just clicked off. So, what does that mean? Are you still here? It shut it off. You feel distant from the Lord. It's probably, probably, probably. Hold on. Did you just turn this off? Okay, Jane. Keep. you have something paranormal or unexplained in your home or your place of business in West Central Florida? You can contact us by sending an email to paranormaltravelers at gmail.com or you can contact us on social media, through social, Wimkin, Twitter X, Instagram, or Facebook. Our paranormal investigations are totally free and confidential. Whether it's a paranormal investigation that's needed or you want to watch all of our season's episodes, tune in to Rumble or our YouTube channels to check them out. Contact us today. Michael continues his investigation in the living area of the home with the homeowner with some help from the portal box. There's a distinct voice that keeps coming through each time as it almost seems to be trying to tell them something. Will we get some answers? Let's continue our investigation here in Valrico, Florida. Get out of my house, it's not your house. It's my house. Let me try something. All right, we're gonna try something here. This is the... All right. Are you here with us? Was this a little girl? Maybe she's the one who writes high in the bathroom mirror. Are you the one that writes high in the bathroom mirror? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Who's the one who spills stuff all over? Who are you? What do you want? 
Get out! Out of my house! Did you hear that again? What? Are you touching that box in there? Hello? Is your phone supposed to go off? It shut the whole... It shut the whole app off. Are you tired of that? Hello? Get it on this one. It's on? No. Oh. Oh. When it comes on? Mm -hmm. I hit, see. Hit box A, box B, red circle. Who's here? What's your name? What do you want? You need to get out of my house. Get out. This is my house. Leave. Go. Good, no. Oh yes, time for you to leave. We'll make you leave. Get out. You get out of my house. I said you can run and hide. What? I said you can run and hide. You're the one who's hiding. I'd say you're a coward. Get out. Get out of my house. Leave. There goes. What is that? It's going off. That's what I like to see. Action. Get up. Come on. You only do it when it's us in the room. Why won't you do it with anybody else? Get up. You finally realize that there's only three people in the room now. Damn it. Is that what you just said? Yell it. Joanne, yell at it. Leave! Get out! Get out of my house! This is my house, not yours! Time for you to get out! Move on! Leave! Something. Get out. Oh, Rick! <laughs> What are you doing? What do you want?
Nice, that's what I like to hear. Did you make that light go off? Answer me. Answer me. Not your house. Get out. This is Joanne's house. Get out. You're dead. You're not alive. This is not your house. This is Joanne's house. You either leave or we're going to cast you back to where you belong. Your choice. Your choice. This is not your house. Leave freely or be vanished. Banished. Banish You want to be banished? It said my name. Because, yeah, Michael can make you leave. Oh, I will. What do I hear beeping? The door. Get out of here. Joey, I need you to get up, walk over to where Rick is. Over, over that way. You see where Rick is? Look. Yeah. He's right over there. Sweetie, just sit on the chair, okay? And I want you to take the cross and do the Our Father prayer again. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Go in the go in each room into it. We're gonna be right with you. Rick Follower. Oh my god, did you hear that? It's oh my god because you're beating it. It said, Oh my god. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Oh, on earth Talk. as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. It does not like this. Listen to us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Say it again, Joanne. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Guys, are you seeing the ball on the camera? On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those Guys, did you just see that? Us, and lead us not in the Deliver us from this evil. Amen. Literally, Get out the of my ball house. inside the laundry room kept flickering off and on. You heard her. Get out. We don't have a camera in there, but. Yes, there is. No, there is a camera in there. We, It's actually shining. Rick, show him the camera. Oh, that's the one that's not live. Do it again. Make that ball go off. Get out. <gasps> there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Get out. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from this evil. Amen. Amen. Get out. Get out of this house. Get out of my house. Leave. Was was something thrown in there? <coughs> Get out of this house. You're no longer around in here. You're not welcome here. Get out. Get out of here. Now the the ball just shut off. Yeah, shut off on its own. I'll replace the camera. 
That is amazing. I actually got it all on camera. Why is that camera not on? Get out of my house. Watch her with the cord. Oh. What? Watch her with the cord. Leave. Joanne, watch the cord. You're... I know. I see okay. Get out. <laughs> Get out. They talk back to her. They talk back to you. Get out. I'm tired of you. Tired of you destroying everything. Time for you to leave. Get out of my house. It's not your house, it's my house. Joanne, it's not liking it, and that's a good thing because you're beating it. Get out. Yeah, I'm tired of it. You need to leave. Go back to where you came from. Get out of here! I'm trying to play holy music. Yeah, I'll give you holy music. Get out! In the name of Jesus, get out! Do you have something paranormal or unexplained in your home or your place of business in West Central Florida? You can contact us by sending an email to paranormaltravelers at gmail.com or you can contact us on social media, True Social, Wimpkin, Twitter X, Instagram, or Facebook. Our paranormal investigations are totally free and confidential. Whether it's a paranormal investigation that's needed, or you want to watch all of our season's episodes, tune in to Rumble or our YouTube channels to check them out. Contact us today. As we get closer to ending this investigation, we decide to have Michael and Lonnie do a solo investigation to see if they can get a response from anything at all. With the dog constantly barking and the residents asking questions and speaking at the control center in the dining room area, it's really hard to hear if we caught any evidence at all. But let's continue. If there's anybody in this bathroom, can you move something? Can you make a tapping sound? I hear tapping in here. I'm not too sure what that is. Can you see me? You know, you could leave at any time. I know this is your house, but I mean, not your house, but it's the homeowner's house. Can you please tell me why you're here? Can you talk in the audio right here? Talk in the audio and let me know why you're here. Are you mad? I feel like something's watching me right now. I'm not afraid to look over to this side. Why are you so quiet? They say that you throw things in here, that you pour things out and stuff. Well, why aren't you doing it now? Can you see me? Can you actually see where I am? Here. Better. 
Can you knock something off the wall here? I feel like somebody's watching me right now. I don't know why I'm getting this feeling, but it feels like something is watching me. Can you make the door shut in here? Guys, I need you guys to be quiet a little bit. Come on, can you make a noise for me? Shut this door. I want you to shut this door. Shut the bathroom door on me. Either my eyes are playing tricks or this door looks like it's starting to move. Guys, on the camera angle out there for the bathroom, does it look like the door is moving a little bit? Whoa. Why are you doing that? I know that. I'm talking to the spirit. Why are you doing that out there? Why can't you come in here and talk to me? You know, you don't scare me because if you scared me, I would have been physically out of this bathroom. I want you to do something. Knock a picture down. Show me that you're here. You know, I, I'm sitting here waiting to communicate with you in a dark bathroom, waiting to see this door slam in front of me, but you're not doing it. Why is that? You know, these uh, homeowners have seen a lot of action between this laundry room and bathroom. Do you want to show me something? Try something a little different? Give me a little hint that you're still here, you're paying attention to us. Try to communicate with me. You got some little balls you can play with? Turn them on. Lighting devices. Come on out. Come out and say something. Show me something. Show me that you're here. Are you still here with us? I know you like those, set those lights off that are in the kitchen. Come on now. Is that you? Is that you trying to communicate with me? It's okay. You can communicate with me. Don't be afraid. It's okay to communicate with me. That's why we're here. We're here to communicate, to talk. Can do a little something. Are you still here? Are you in one of these two rooms? Utilizing this hallway as just a, a breezeway to go between them? Maybe like squeezing out toothpaste. You like squeezing out toothpaste, dumping soap. It's kind of mean. Make these homeowners do all that extra work for nothing. Just because you're trying to scare them? That's why they called us. That's why we're here. Because you're bothering them. And they don't want you to bother them anymore. So come out. Maybe there's a way we can help you move on to where you should be. Which is not here. Are you over there standing next to the bathroom door? Is that you over there? 
now that Mikey's not in the, the bathroom, maybe you want to shut the door for us. Maybe let one of the little balls just kick it around, move it just a little bit so the lights go off. Come on. Don't be afraid of me. Come out. Come out so I can try to help you. It can't be good just trying to scare all these people. Is that you in the bathroom? Is that you in the bathroom? I'm seeing a little shadow. Is that you? You in there now? Or is that just my eyes playing trick on me? Come on, there's got to be something. With all this that you've been doing to these folks, there's nothing you want to show us? Trying to scare these folks to get them to leave this house? It's not yours, it's theirs. They belong here, not you. Come on. Stop being so afraid. It's just you and I here right now. Are you here? Show me that you're here. Make some lights go off. Knock on the wall. Maybe a door. Maybe you can move a door a little bit. Something. Don't be afraid just because we're here. You do all this stuff for all this time and you're not going to do it tonight? You're going to take the night off? Where are you? Come over here and talk to us. Let us know that you're still here. Let us know. Come on out. You know I'm not afraid of you. Is that why you're not doing it? Because you could know that by being afraid of something, it gives you more food? More to feed off of? You know, you gotta understand something. Being a very positive person proves that when you're not afraid of an entity or a poltergeist, you can't really manifest yourself and do stuff. Can you drop down these seahorses, make the water turn off and on in this bathroom, make the, the drawers in here slam and open up and shut, knock the pictures down, turn the lights off and on, something. You know, just like I tell some of my co-workers at work, it's mind over matter. And right now, you really don't matter to me. If anything, I laugh at you because you can't do one simple little task by pulling something down, by shutting the door, by turning on the water, by opening up the door in here, flushing the toilet, making equipment go off and on. So what is it, what's it going to be? Are we going to just sit here all night long and not see something happen? Or are you going to prove yourself to me and show me that you're here? You know, because right now you just seem like you're playing games. You say you're a legion, legion of demons. Well, you ain't proving shit to me. Can you knock something down in the living room? I hear tapping out there, but can you knock something down? See, it comes to the point that you're not so scary that I could even tell everybody to leave the whole entire house and I'd sleep here by myself. And that's kind of low. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna throw something at me? Are you gonna open up the door? You gonna show me that you're here? Are you guys throwing things? No, no one's out there. 
Okay, so I hear things dropping around out there, so, and I know it's not coming from your area because I could hear it directly from in the kitchen area here in the hallway. Is that you? Nope, no one's out there. No, I'm talking to the poultry guys. Is that you? Is it because you're not doing anything because there's a cross in here with me? I mean, I didn't put the cross in here. That was the homeowner. That She put it in here to feel safe, but is that the real reason why you won't do anything? The bunk, that was a dog. You know, I would love, love it. I would absolutely 101% love to see you shut the door. I would love to see you throw a screwdriver at me. I would love to see you open these drawers and dump soap and mouthwash all over the floor. Are you afraid of me? Is that what it is? Are you afraid? Are you afraid that I may see something and capture it on film? Don't let this camera scare you, darling. This camera is just here to prove that you actually exist. Is that you guys out there again? You guys are not making any kind of sound out there. Okay, so if that's you out there and you're making the, the sounds and stuff, you're in the wrong direction, baby. Come back up this way. Come right up this way through the hallway. I don't know if it's something because you're dead or something and you have wrong direction, but you're in the wrong direction. Come back up through the hallway. Okay, so now I just heard a tapping in the bathroom. Is that you? Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. I mean, although you seem negative to the homeowner, which is disrespectful, if that's you tapping in this bathroom, shut this door. Slam the door. Slam it. Slam it really hard. you have something paranormal or unexplained in your home or your place of business in West Central Florida? You can contact us by sending an email to paranormaltravelers at gmail.com or you can contact us on social media through social, Wimpkin, Twitter X, Instagram, or Facebook. Our paranormal investigations are totally free and confidential. Whether it's a paranormal investigation that's needed or you want to watch all of our season's episodes, tune in to Rumble or our YouTube channels to check them out. Contact us today. Michael and Lonnie continue their solo investigations to see if they can receive any kind of evidence to whatever resides within. This home. So we conclude our investigation with the final minutes of their solo sessions here in Valrico, Florida. You gonna take the night off? Where are you? Come over here and talk to us. Let us know that you're still here. Let us know. Come on out.
Come on now. Ooh, don't be afraid. Maybe you're in the laundry room? The little orb sitting on top of that machine over there. You can turn around and play with it. Are you somebody who is angry? Are you scared? And if you're afraid, maybe I can help you. It's okay. Are you just afraid? Is that why you throw things? Because the people in the house scare you? Well, the easiest thing to do is not to be here. You could be somewhere else. It's okay. You can come on out. We've seen some of you. We've heard some voices. We've seen some lights. We've seen whatever it was. Maybe it's you. Dancing on top of the knife set. Playing with the knife. Maybe it looked like you were trying to pull them out. I'm not sure. Maybe you want to just move it a little bit. Let us know that you're there. It's okay. It's a thousand things you could do right now. You could tug on my collar. So right here. Maybe you want to shut that bathroom door the rest of the way. Maybe get some privacy. Try to get away from us. Anything? Anything at all? Anything? Are you showing somebody something out there? You are in the bathroom, aren't you? Go ahead and shut the door for me. It's okay, I'm in the hallway. If you shut the door, you'll be alone in there. Ooh, is that you? Is that you in there? Ooh. Are you are you in the bathroom now? Okay. It's okay, you can come out. Or you can just shut the door and be alone. I'm not in there. I'm in the hallway. Oh, I can see the little orb. Is that you? Did you go? I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, I can actually see it. Is that you floating around right there in front of me? Are you guys seeing any orbs in the kitchen? Is that you? You were just in the bathroom and now you're back in the kitchen? Can you make those lights go off in the kitchen? They're on. You can make you can make noises. Don't be afraid. Come on. I'm right here. Is that you in the living room? Is that you in the living room? Come on, let your presence know. You've been doing it to these families, you can't do it to us? Let us know. Maybe there's something we could do for each other. Nothing? You standing here right in front of me? Are you, you closer to me? Are you in the bathroom? Are you in there? It's okay if you are. Just can't make a mess. You need to shut the door if you want privacy.
You know, and all the rooms, you know, this room seemed like it was really active with all the pictures I got sent. I pretty much have the most scariest part of the room, right, or the house, is the bathroom. Well, come on, do something. Show yourself. Throw something. But I bet you when I walk out of this bathroom, you'll probably end up doing something. That is why they category you under a category called poltergeist. The noisy spirits, the spirits that like to do things when you least expect it. So now you see that I'm not afraid of you. But you bet your, your, your spirit butt if you probably slam the door, I'd probably most likely scream and run out the door, but at least I caught it on tape. There's knives inside the kitchen. Why don't you throw them? Why don't you float them back here? Float them back towards my direction. Is it because of my necklace I have on, the black onyx? Is it because that... With black onyx, all negative spirits don't like anything like that. Is it because I blessed all of my team members' necklaces? Is that why you're not doing anything? The house is very quiet. This is your chance. Your chance to prove to us that you are truly a poltergeist. Are you still tapping us? And see, the tapping doesn't scare me. You can tap away all you want. That doesn't prove nothing. Proving to me that you're a poltergeist, a real bad poltergeist, it would start throwing things and slamming the door. Do you guys got me on good view in the bathroom? Yeah. So, what's it gonna be, honestly? I'll even stand here. Wait, actually, I can't stand up because I'll be out of the camera view. What is this door in the bathroom? Is this the closet door? Okay. Let, um, I gotta debunk something. Let Joanne know that she has a, a leaky toilet in here. So come on, what's it gonna be? I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm still sitting in this bathroom waiting to see these doors open up and shut. My back is starting to feel red hot. Are you trying to scratch me? That it's what are you trying to do? Is there any orb activity on the screens? Are you just curious to see who I am? You probably come in here and you think, oh, well, you're not the homeowner. Well, you know what? Let me just bypass and go through the house. Hate to break it to you, but I got a little bit of a prayer that I'll be saying today that banish you out of this house. Can you go like this? Can you tap? Come on. Come on, hello, come on.
You like it when I'm doing that to your bathroom? Is this your bathroom? What if I were to say this is my bathroom? I'm in here now. It's not yours. It's mine. You can get the hell out. Go someplace else. Because you ain't scary for me. I've been doing this for 17 years of my life. And not one little poltergeist is going to scare me away. There's even a mirror in here. Have you ever heard of mirrors are the portal to the other side? Well, there's a mirror in here. Jump through the mirror. Come after me. Hello? <sighs> Is that you in the garage? Was that a hissing sound that I just heard? Are you hissing at me? Guys, there's some hissing coming through the garage. Come on and communicate with me. Let your presence know. Where'd you go? Where are you at? Where are you at? Anything? Are you over here with us? You gotta stop haunting this family. You gotta stop doing this. You gotta get out of here. <laughs> Nothing? Not, not even a little knock on the wall? Maybe you can knock the camera over a little bit that's in front of me? But it's just something simple like shutting the bathroom door. Maybe the laundry room. Maybe that's what you want to shut. Not interested in playing, huh? Huh. Come on now. Been scaring this family for days. You can't let me know that you're here? Decided to have the homeowner take a stance against this entity have her try to make this thing exit her home. Nothing, huh? Just too afraid. I don't Let's understand see why. Any responses at all. You knock pictures the off the walls. Emptied soap, oils, throwing things across the room, almost hitting people. We should we just show yourself. Let us know you're here. Let us know you're listening to us. At least let us know you're listening to us. Nothing, huh? No, no shutting of the doors, no knocking on the walls, no moving a picture. Are you hissing? Unfortunately, as a paranormal investigator, you will run into problems where the homeowner refuses to remove animals from the home, and you will also have times where they will talk through an investigation at the control center or somewhere within the home. This severely hinders any investigation as to finding evidence of the paranormal. This night we captured a few orbs, a shadow, and something setting off the motion ball within the laundry room. Is this home haunted? Possibly. But unless you investigate an empty home, 
you may never know.